Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Would the registrar please call the case? Case number IT0369I, the prosecutor versus Jovica Stanisic. Thank you. May I have the appearances? Your Honor. Uh, for the prosecution, Prosecutor Carla Del Ponte, Senior Trial Attorney Susan Summer, uh, Trial Attorney Camille Bibles, and the Case Manager Stephanie Wee. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Madam. And for the defense, please. For its order, yeah. Your Honor, I am Vladan Vukovic, Attorney at Law. The colleague next to me is Slobodan Vukovic, attorney at law, and we are going to be the defense team for Mr. Stanisic. Thank you, Mr. Vukovic. Vukovic. Mr. Stanisic, can you hear the proceeding in a language you understand? Yes. If you don't feel well, you, you may sit down. Would you please state your full name? Yes, I'm Jovica. I am Jovica Stanisic. And for your identification, would you please state your date and place of your birth? Yes, I'm Rajin. I was born on the 30th of July, 1950, in Ratkovo in the Republic of Serbia. Is it in the region of Vojvodina? Yes. Thank you. This proceeding is the initial appearance of Mr. Jovica Stanisic, pursuant to Rule 62 of the Rules of Procedure and Evidence of the International Tribunal. The indictment against uh, the accused and Mr. Franco Simatovic was reviewed and confirmed by a permanent judge of this tribunal on the 1st of May 2003. Subsequently, Mr. Simatovic was transferred to this tribunal on Friday, 30th of May 2003, upon which the president of this tribunal assigned the case to the trial chamber three. And as one of his permanent judges, I was de designated as the presiding pre-trial judge. And the accused himself was transferred to this tribunal on Wednesday, 11th of June this year. And I scheduled the present initial appearance as the pre-trial judge. First of all, as a pretrial judge, I have to make certain that the accused understands the indictment against him. Mr. Vukcevic, has your client received the indictment in his own language? Yes, the previous. Yes, Your Honor, he has received the indictment. We are familiar with its contents in detail, and as far as the defense is concerned, there is no need to have it read out. Very well. Then the next step is then entry of a plea to the charges of the indictment. The accused may either enter a plea within 30 days of the initial appearance, but he may enter a plea at the time of the initial appearance, if he so wishes. Mr. Vucevic, does your client wish to enter a plea today or do it later? Da. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, he is going to do it today. Then I will ask the registrar to put each count of the indictment to the accused, and then the accused will plead his... But Mr. Stanisic, could you confine your answer either to guilty or not guilty? Yes. Registrar, please. 
Count one, persecutions on political, racial, or religious grounds, a crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5H and 7-1 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Mr. Stanish, do you plead to count one guilty or not guilty? Your Honor, I'm convinced that I'm not guilty. Well, count two, please. Count two, murder, a crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5A and 7-1 of the Statute of the Tribunal. How do you plead, Mr. Stanis? Your Honor, I'm convinced that I'm not guilty. Very well. Count three, please. Count three. Murder, a violation of the laws or customs of war, as recognized by Common Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3 and 7.1 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Do you plead guilty or not guilty to count three, Mr. Stanisic? Your Honor, I'm convinced that I'm not guilty. Count four, please. Count four, deportation, crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5D and 7.1 of the Statute of the Tribunal. How do you plead, Mr. Snanisch? Your Honor, I am convinced that I am not guilty. Yes, then let's go to the last count. Count five, inhumane acts, forcible transfer, a crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5, I, and 7, 1 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Mr. Stanisic, do you plead guilty or not guilty? Your Honor, I am not guilty. Very well. Please sit down. I would like to uh, ask the registrar to note that Mr. Stanisic has pleaded not guilty to all, the, all of the counts of the indictment. Then I must now remind the prosecutor that pursuant to Rule 66A1 to make available within 30 days to the defense in a language which the accused understands all the supporting materials which accompanied the indictment and also all prior statements obtained by the prosecution from the accused must be disclosed as well. Yes, Your Honor. We will be ready for the disclosure of the supporting material. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Then let me now turn to the defense and also tell the defense that it will have a 30-day period for filing any preliminary motions that it care to do once it has received all of the supporting materials in accordance to Rule 66. Those being said, are there any matters the parties wish to raise at this stage? Nothing from the Nothing, prosecution. Nothing, Your Honor. How about defense? Your Honor. Not at this point in time. Nothing special. Thank you. Mr. Stanisic, do you have anything in particular to speak to the chamber or raise anything relating to your custody or health and anything else? I have nothing special to say. Everything that was relevant is what I handed over to the tribunal through my defense counsel. I am referring to the documents related to my health and I am referring to all other matters. Thank you. I believe the chamber will be able to.
microphone for Judge Kwan, please. <laughs> the chamber will be able to see the document in sooner or later. Yes, please take your seat. And pursuant to Rule 65 Ter, the pretrial judge may be assisted in the performance of his duty by one of the senior legal officer assigned to the chambers. In this regard, Ms. Yvonne Featherstone, the senior legal officer of our chamber, shall undertake this task. My understanding is that Ms. Featherstone has already arranged a 65 term meeting to take to take place on the 21st of July together with the defense team for Mr. Simatovic. Given that defense has a month's time during which it must receive the supporting material, so the timing seems all right to me. I believe you will be contacted. And then I will have a status conference for the accused and the co-accused Mr. Simatovic within approximately four months' time from today. Then this proceeding is now adjourned. All rise, we have a